So I start off with a quote from Hippocrates, who's the father of, of modern Western medicine. Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Uh, this was obviously long ago, but we know that it's true. We know that what we put into our bodies affects how we feel, how we function, how long we live, um, and so many other things. So, okay, so what is a superfood? It's a non-medical term referring to foods that have health-promoting properties, and they usually have high contents of antioxidants, vitamins, or other nutrients. Uh, I just have wanted to talk about some of the things that we know that are good for us, and why are they? So, tried and true, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries, because ras uh, berries always rise to the top. Nuts, always at the top is walnuts, in terms of antioxidants, omega-3 acids, Almonds are a close second, pistachios. So any kind of bean is good. These are packed with fiber, lots of protein. There's like one cup of black beans has 15 grams of protein. I mean, that is really, really significant. And you know, you know, you can use those in soups, you can use them as a side dish, you can put them in, easily put them in salads. Um, I have whole grains here and oats top the list. Uh, fiber, it keeps you very full, it helps to boost your metabolism and if you're trying to lose weight. In terms of starches, uh, sweet potatoes are, I mean, baked potatoes are not bad. Baked potatoes are, are actually very good for you, but sweet potatoes have a lot more nutrients. Uh, fish, we all know fish is good for us and the best fish for us in terms of the omega-3s and the monounsaturated fatty acids, which are so good for our brain, or the, they're called them the MUFAs are uh, the fatty cold water fish like salmon, herring, sardines, and mackerel. Some of the ones that really are rising to the surface as being particularly super in the superfoods category. Quinoa is an amazing grain, and it is packed with iron, protein, multiple B vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients. And then sauerkraut is really, really good, again, for uh, digestion, inflammation. Sauerkraut has wonderful probiotic properties. And then seeds. So this is a really, really big area. Pumpkin seeds are huge. We use them a lot in patients to try and get protein up, so especially our patients who've had bariatric surgery. I want to read you the nutrition information for chia seeds. So two tablespoons of chia seeds, which are these little tiny little balls and they like they're just crunchy they really don't have flavor but two tablespoons have uh, seven and a half grams of fiber which is about a fourth of your daily fiber intake and the highest content of omega-3 fatty acids of any plant food and there's a Mediterranean diet uh, the diet back in um, the late 1960s in Greece when chronic disease rates were the lowest and people were living the longest, even though they did not have access to good medical care. The emphasis is on fruits, vegetables, a lot of olive oil, fish, nuts, and then really being active in your life and avoiding red meat. If anybody in this room is interested in increasing your health through technology, I would really recommend, uh, it's a fun way to do it, and this is actually my favorite, is my Fitness Pal. That, is, that app is free on your cell phones. It's really shows you exactly what you're putting in your mouth, how many calories you need, you know, how many calories you have left for the day. So then you really have to make good food choices.